so hello and welcome so this is bottleneck tech in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install eclipse ide in your pc so for downloading eclipse ide in your pc you will first need to have java installed in your pc so in order to check if you have installed java in your pc you will just have to click here the search icon from windows and type cmd here cmd right after pressing cmd you will just have to press enter and for checking the java installation is already being done in your pc or not you will just have to write here java space hyphen v e r s i u n version just after you write this code java space version if this message is shown to you java is not recognized as internal or external command so this shows that you do not have java installed into your pc you can also try running this code java c and the same thing here version and this will also give you this message java is not recognized as internal or external command right so you'll just have to close this command prompt uh, so in order to install java you will first need to open your browser just after you open your browser you just have to search here java jdk then just press enter just after you press enter you will have this website called www.oracle.com so you, this link you will get and you just need to open this link the first link after opening this link you will see the latest version of java which is java se 16 so we'll download the latest version so for downloading java se 16 we'll just have to click on jdk download right just after you click on java jdk download you will have this page opened you just have to scroll down a little as soon as you scroll down you will get this windows x64 installer we don't want to download compressed archive file will just simply download windows x64 installer which says it is 150.58 mb megabytes right so you just have to click on this link and you will get this pop-up open so you will just check this option and click on java download jdk 16.0.2 windows x64 bin.exe so i have just click on this icon So you can see now the downloading has been started. You will just have to click on save. As you can see, this downloading has been started. So in order to save the time, I have already downloaded this Java installer. So I'll guide you through. So this is the file destination where I have downloaded the Java JDK. As you can see, JDK 16.0.2 Windows X64 bin.exe. So you will get this icon shown where you have downloaded your Java. So you will just have to double click on this icon. Just click on yes. Let me minimize the window. So it, it will say welcome to installation wizard of or Java SE development kit 16.0.2. You'll just have to click on next. Now this will uh, ask you for the installation folder. So I'm keeping it as the default folder, which is C program files, Java JDK. Then just I will click on next. As soon as you click on next, it will start copying new files. It will just take a few seconds. So let us wait. So just after a few seconds, you will get this pop-up shown. You will just have to uh, click on close. So now we'll quickly check if the java has been installed in our pc or not we'll just type here cmd and now we'll run the same command which is java version so as you can see the java has been installed in our pc which says java version 16.0.2 which we have just downloaded in our pc so we can try our next command this java c version so you will get this java c 16.0.2 so we have successfully downloaded our java into our pc 
so we'll just close this so now we can download eclipse ide in our pc so you'll just have to open a new tab and search here eclipse ide eclipse ide as soon as you search eclipse ide you'll get this website called www.eclipse.org so just click on the first link you will get so this is the eclipse ide foundation website so we'll get this option called download here you'll just have to click on this button just after you click on that download button you will get this get eclipse id 2021 right so you will just have to click on this download x86 button so this page will be opened just after you click on that download button just simply click on this download button and your downloading has been started right so i will save this file on my desktop right here and click on save you can download this file wherever you want in your pc so i'm just downloading it on my desktop it says 111 mb so let us download this first as you can see the eclipse installer has been downloaded so i'll just minimize this window right here you can see eclipse installer i'll just drag it here and just you just have to double click on this icon as soon as you click on this installer you will get this pop-up opened which is eclipse installer so just after you click on this you will get these options shown in front of you right so it will ask you for what language or for which type of development you want to download eclipse ide so these these are the all options you will get like the java developers java enterprise version c c plus plus php modeling tools etc etc so i'm downloading it for my java coding so i will just click on this java developers eclipse id for java developers so just click on this you will get this opened so it will smartly recognize the java installed location which is c.program files as you can see so this is the installation folder for eclipse installer so you can change it where you want to install your eclipse id so i'll just click on this i want to install my eclipse id into my d drive so i'll select this folder I'd say some error has been occurred. What happened? Okay, so I'll name a file here, which is Eclipse and select folder. Now the error has been gone. It was saying it cannot be installed on root folder. So the drives are your root folders. So you will just have to uh, make a folder inside your drive if you want to install anywhere else in your PC. So I have just created a file called Eclipse and I want to install my Eclipse ID into that folder only. So I'll just click on install here. Uh, then you will just have to click on accept now. As soon as you click on accept now, this installation process will be started. So we'll wait some seconds for this installation process to be finished. So it will take a few minutes to install Eclipse IDE into your pc so just wait for one or two minutes so as you can see eclipse id for java developers has been written here so the essential tool it shows the essential tools for any java developer including java ide a git client xml editor maven and gradle integration these all essential files will automatically will be downloaded into your eclipse ide so just wait for some time to let it finish so as you can see the installation has been completed successfully so this you will get this launch button here so just click on this launch button as soon as you click on that launch button you will get this eclipse id 2021 opened in front of you so it will ask you for the workspace directory so i'll just uh, browse it to my d drive and select folder and then 
I'll launch it. You can also leave that for default if you do not have a good reason to change it. I'm changing it because my C drive has less space. So I'm installing everything from Eclipse ID into my D drive. So it is starting Eclipse ID for the first time. So as you can see, the Eclipse ID has been opened in front of us. So just click on this restore button at the top left corner. Just click on this restore. Then you will get this opened in front of you. Then you will just have to click on allow cookies. I'll just minimize this and I'll just close this option. Right. So let us try running a Java code into our Eclipse IDE. For that, you will just have to uh, click on this file, then new, then click on Java project. As soon as you click on new Java project, it will ask you for a project name. So I'm writing hello world. So just leave these options checked. The first one is JRE use an execution environment JRE. So it will show you the Java version which you have installed in your PC. So we have just installed Java SE 16 into our PC. So it says Java SE 16. The next is project layout, create separate folders for sources and class files. Leave it checked and just click on next. So this will be the uh, file structure for our new project. Just click on finish. So it says module name. I'll leave it as hello world. Then I will check this generate con generate comments and I'll click on create. So this uh, little file will be opened in front of you. This little code will be shown. So I'm just deleting it. I'll write my own code. So I'll just click on delete and okay. So I'll create a new file here. So right click on this SRC and new and I'll create a new class. So I'll name it as basic. I'll name it as basic. And, and add this option which so I want this method to be included into my class which is public static void main. So I'll check this. So I'll check this option and finish. So this file will be open in front of you. So I'll just try to run a small code. So I'll write system dot out dot intelin and then I'll try to write here a uh, hello world just after I write hello world inside my double quotes so at the top corner you will see these options so I'm just running my basic Java code then okay so as you can see my program has been compiled successfully and it has given us the output hello world I can change it like Like I have written, please subscribe to my channel. And as soon as I click on this run basic and okay. So as you can see, our Eclipse ID is working fine. Our Java codes are compiling successfully. So we have installed Java and Eclipse ID from scratch. And I have shown you basic codes also. So this was it for the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Till then, goodbye. I'll see you in the next one.